Welcome to the Mitsubishi Electric Australia's how-to video guide for navigating the parts portal. To begin with, those wishing to use the spare parts portal will need to request access from the Mitsubishi Electric partner portal from their Mitsubishi Electric Australia rep. Once a username and password has been supplied, log on to the Mitsubishi Electric website and select the partner tab in the top left hand side of the page. Inside the Partner tab, you will find the login page. Enter your username or email, password, and check the recapture I am not a robot. Then you can log in. Once inside the Partner portal, you will find a selectable menu on the left hand side. Select the Spare Parts tab, which will take you to the Spare Parts portal. Inside the Spare Parts portal, you will find two searchable tabs Model Search and Part Search. Model search is the primary search function and should be the focus when looking for parts. Below the model search tab in the search bar, type in the model number of the appliance of which you are looking for parts. For example, we will look at the AP 2.5 kilowatt units. The search is fairly intuitive. So while the model number is MSZ-AP25VGD2-A1, if I simply type in AP25, it brings up a list of models that have this reference. Now, as I'm looking for the VGD2 model, I simply track the model column and find the product, then check the brief description to make sure it describes the product in question. Then, over on the right-hand side, there is a column designated Actions, where you can find a View tab. Select the View tab, and it will drop down to show all the parts associated with this product. From the left, the columns available to review are parts, to show an exact part number, description of the part, bomb quantity, which shows how many parts are required to replace the component for the unit. For example, air filters have a bomb quantity of two, meaning that the unit requires two of these parts to replace the existing parts in the system. The trade price excluding GST, the trade price including GST, part type, and the last column is availability, or is the part in stock. All columns can be set to alphabetical, either ascending or descending order, or price in ascending or descending order. If the part is not in stock, there is an additional text box that shows add to ETA request, which, when selected, provides a simple request form to show the part number and allow a designation of how many of these parts are required. The ETA request is like a shopping cart in function, however no actual purchase is made through this page. Once filled out, you can continue on if there are additional parts on which you need to check, or you can send request, which will email the dedicated spare parts team who will get in contact with details regarding the ETA of the parts. If you are doing this for multiple parts, the ETA request keeps the already entered parts on file in the ETA request tab on the right hand side of the screen, which can be sent at any time. Some older model numbers will have star NLA in the description. This means that a critical component or part of this model is no longer available for order. For models displaying NLA in the description, you should check all part details as the unit you are working on may require parts that are no longer available for order. For example, the MUZ-GA71VA outdoor unit that has NLA in its description has the compressor available for replacement, but the power board that it connects to is no longer available, indicated by the star NLA in the end of the description of the specific part. This means that if the compressor caused a failure in the power board, or was misdiagnosed and the power board was the original issue, you may end up paying for a compressor that does not fix the issue and having to replace the entire unit. This is updated regularly by our specialized spare parts team to provide you with as much detail as possible. There are also some parts that have star check emiost in the parts description. In these cases, the parts are available, however, there are additional restrictions around the replacement of these parts. For example, this may include not only a model number restriction, but a serial number limitation as well, due to a model update which will need to be verified before the replacement part is ordered. At the top of the View tab, there is also an option to download the parts manual for additional details of the product and the parts in question. The parts list can also be downloaded as either a PDF or an Excel.
for an easy reference to parts you may wish to find. When looking for parts and checking to see if the listed part is suitable for the product, some descriptions will show a star hashtag at the end of the description, followed by either a partial or whole part number. This means that the part number is a superseded part. If the star hashtag is followed by two to three letters, or numbers, simply replace the start of the part number that you are looking at with these letters or numbers, and you'll have the new part number. If there is a whole part number displayed after the star hashtag, simply search the new model number in order to find the appropriate part. There are also a few model numbers with bracketed information at the end of the description. This can once again be a partial or whole part number. Details inside the brackets refer to a part number that this part has superseded, so that you can check the compatibility. The Part Search tab is a refined search engine that allows you to search for specific part numbers and display whether available or not. This should only be used if you have an exact part number you are looking for, as many part numbers are similar and could cause confusion when using this feature if the part number in question is not accurate. For more information, contact your Mitsubishi Electric representative or the respected departments with the contact information on the screen.